is a high floating fly, cutthroats, rainbows, and lots of other types of, uh, of uh, fish will, will rise to it and slam it. It's going to wrap it on to the curve of the hook. Swing the foam in place, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up to the foam on the shank so it touches it. I'm going to take my razor blade and I'm just going to start it just past the back end of the curve of the hook and I'm just and I'm going to try to lay the blade on the foam uh, the silly legs because it really moves in the water really quite nice. You got four legs on one side of you? You got, yeah, well it'll look like it'll look like two legs and your deer hair went too far past the tip the tail of the fly. Here's the key is tie on the first loop with a loose wrap, no, no pressure, and then the second time around when you wrap, put some gentle pressure on it, and you should get the deer here to flare a little bit, and then let go. Nice and buggy looking, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty good. I think that's a decent effort. Put it on. And then just cut it like that. So I've just been yeah, dying this since this course started. This thing started. No, no, no. And that's how many I've seen.